The uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines start, uh, started using the uh, GIS platform way back in 2006, uh, mostly as a standalone tool. It was basically a digitized situation map wherein uh, it contains layers on socioeconomic, on the weather and terrain, on opposing forces, and on the events. I could only say that uh, the GIS has been a very important tool for us both at the tactical level of command and at the operational level of command. And we have been using it uh, in practically all of our day-to-day -day activities ranging from the traditional military operations, non-military and non-traditional activities. As of now, uh, the GIS is at the core of our AFP Command and Operation Management System. It integrates our event management, the uh, situational awareness or monitoring, the uh, analysis of the terrain, in our video teleconferencing. So uh, we also use that in collaboration with other government agencies in our non-traditional military roles such as humanitarian assistance against on uh, disaster relief operation and monitoring uh, reforestation and uh, denuded areas. So uh, we're still using it at our tactical level uh, and our Philippine Army has dictated that uh, it is be used as standard for updating commanders on situational matters. The first challenge was uh, the lack of appreciation on the decision makers during those times on the use of technology. So what we did is we incorporated it into our system and made it uh, as a policy. So as of now, it is at the core of our uh, operations management system on a basis of, uh, it is the basis of our day-to-day -day monitoring of our activities. The second challenge was uh, the threat of uh, malware and hackers. So we uh, invested in uh, redundancy of uh, anti-malware and anti-hacking uh, systems. So practically we were able to overcome those challenges and convince our leaders on uh, the necessity and uh, efficiency of the GIS. Definitely, the GIS will remain at the core of our command, control, communication, management operations. And uh, on uh, the acquisition of sensors and perhaps satellites, uh, we see that uh, we will be able to manage events, monitor situation on a re near real-time, if not real-time, uh, capability.